If you went up to anyone on the street and asked them, hey, who's your favorite comedian? Nine times out of 10, they'll probably name off some guy comedian. You know, even just looking at the top 10 highest paid jokers, you'll see that people tend to appeal more to guys than women. Why is that? Oh, it's simple. It's just because uh, women are better than men. Oh, I guess I should probably explain that. Okay, you see, uh, according to the science Bible, uh, during human evolution, you know, when the first humans emerged, women developed these things called expectations and needs. I know, gross, right? They decided if they had to mate, they wanted their partner to be caring, compassionate, and trustworthy. Now, little did they know, we didn't know what the fuck those words meant. We were still in the monkey stage, finally realizing we had oh the God, ability to piss standing up. Now, because of this intellectual divide, the male humans had to find some sort of way to fit these impossible standards so we developed a secret weapon human that's right the male humans found out you didn't have to be caring compassionate didn't matter if you were short tall muscular thin you know you could be the most scum fuck bastard as long as you can make a girl laugh you're good to go i mean think about it why do you think Jesus died a virgin? You know, he wasn't a funny man. He, he, he didn't really have any comedy skills. You know, he just went around telling people, I am the son of God. I am the son of God. You know, expecting to get some coochie. And look, that's cool and all, Mr. Son of God. But tell us a fucking joke. God damn. Women can make another human being inside their own bodies. They don't commit as much crime as we do. They got them thick waists, them, them succulent fruits called boobies that hang on their chest. They got that pretty skin that... <laughs> now, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they, they got all that, and what do we do? We can shit, piss, and come. That's it. But more importantly, we have our humor. Now, this is a rough example of what happens to a woman's mind when you tell a joke. Hey, miss, why was six afraid of seven? Stay away from me, pervert! Because seven, eight, nine. Damn. Maybe I should have this man's child. This is the last thing I'm gonna present to you before I gotta go clock into my part-time job. Uh, it's an article about hand washing. You know, the subjects being males and females. Some 15% of men didn't wash their hands at all compared with 7% of women. When they did wash their hands, only 50% of men used soap compared with 78% of women. Now, 15% uh, of men don't wash their hands and only half that do actually use soap now uh that's not surprising because no, I'm, I'm gonna keep it honest with you i don't even remember the last time i washed my own hands you know in fact i don't even remember the last time i saw water as an object and guess what that doesn't matter women know this they know this and as long as you keep making them laugh they just don't care you know, I really do fear for the future. You know, one of these days, women are gonna snap out of this humor hypnosis we've put them in. And I fear that one day, women will realize how much more valuable they are. One of these days, women are gonna notice, hold up, these niggas ain't shit. Hopefully that day never happens, but you know, if it ever does, then we as men will actually have to put effort into our own appearance, you know? We're gonna be the ones that have to buy these expensive ass beauty products, these expensive ass grooming products. You know, one of these days, we're gonna, oh, whoa, 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 go back to the last slide. What the fuck is this? $90 for a 1.7 ounce? Oh, no. Oh, no.